As a mother, I don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen preparing meals. I take my family's favorite meals and I put a veganish twist on them. These recipes are quick and full of flavor. The Veganish Kitchen is about food, love, family, and my love of cooking for my family. We love hard and we eat good. So come along with me as I give you a glimpse into my life, planning, prepping, and serving Veganish meals. It's back to school time, and whether your kids are jumping on the bus or rolling out of bed to go to the kitchen table, it's a hectic time of the year. So we're having taco night. I've got nutrient-dense walnut meat tacos with kicked up flour tortillas, quick and easy fried rice where I use leftover yellow rice, and for a sweet treat, apple pie empanadas. So we're gonna start with the apple pie empanadas. I already have these started with uh, a little bit of lemon juice on it. I'm just gonna cut this last one. Uh, because these have to bake for about 20 minutes on 425. So I'm going to cut these up in a large dice. I don't want them to be too small. They're going to cut down also, or cook down also. <laughs> and my little girl, Shaylin, loves these apple empanadas. It's one of her favorites. She loves apples. So might be buying a little bit. I'm going to start cooking these on the stove. Johnny's always the prankster in this house. But now it's time for us to prank him. Let's turn off the TV now. No! I'll turn off my TV! <laughs> All of this Pranking's making me hungry. I wonder what mommy's making for dinner. So I'm just gonna add about two tablespoons of butter to a medium hot, uh, medium heat. I'm gonna put the apples in. Mm. We don't need to let them cook that long because they're gonna cook in the oven also. So I have a quarter cup of sugar, white sugar, and brown sugar also. So you can make this a little sweeter if you would like. Sometimes I do it a little sweeter. Put like half a cup in there of each. And there is our cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla. And we already have the lemon juice that was squeezed over top of the, the apples. We're going to start putting that cook down. Hey, Shooks. Can I help you? You sure can. You just got to uh, go wash your hands. So we'll be right back. You're watching The Veganish Kitchen on Taste on TV. Okay, so we're just gonna work on these empanada doughs. I purchased these at the store. It's empanada dough, comes in disc, and that's gonna make this so much easier. So all we're gonna do is just put a little flour out on the counter and we're gonna just roll them out just a little bit more, stretch it a little bit. Do I do it with my hands? Yeah, because your hands are clean, so you can do it and just... Oh. Just spread it mm -hmm. on the counter and That's wipe your hands. There you go. Good job. And we're just going to dust on both sides. 
and then take this rolling pin and we're gonna just roll it out. I'll let you do that. Like it's rolling. Mm -hmm. It's rolling very long. And I'm gonna switch it that way. It's getting long, actually. Good job. Okay. And that's about the size that we want them. So I'm gonna lay that there. And put the plastic down, and we're gonna just keep going through and doing that. Yeah. Get both okay. sides. So while you do that, I'm gonna check on the apples, okay? You got okay. it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, this is cooled down just a little bit. Still a little, still a little warm, but. It's warm enough for me. I'm, it's it was it, cool enough for you to bite, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, then that should be good. <laughs> so, we're going to put about uh, two Half. tablespoons onto each shell. Half. On one half. And then we're going to fold it in half. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then we'll place the next one so it's already set up. Steady. So, Get steady. do that again. Get ready. Oh. Try and keep some of the juices out. We don't need to be too juicy. That's bad. melted butter and go over the top of these yeah and then we're gonna sprinkle some of the cinnamon sugar on top I have raw sugar um, with mixed with some cinnamon and I just wanted the larger crystals that's why I use the raw sugar you can use either one uh, whatever sugar you have should I do that one uh, not yet I'm gonna make these do it on this side where the oh, pies are already sorry. done oh no you're fine no big deal that is the great thing about cooking yeah, you always make mistakes. Even if you make a small mistake, it can be fixed. You know? Yes. Yeah. Mistakes are good. That means the next time you make a mistake. It means the next time that you do it, you'll know. Yeah. You'll, you've learned from it, right? Yeah. That's and right. You'll know what to do. Empanadas. Yes. So the next time because I keep saying <clears throat> so now this is the fun part yeah we're gonna spread that one out just I didn't bit. actually know this was sugar I thought it was something else These just need to go in the oven for 20 minutes on 425.
next we're gonna work on walnut meat tacos. So since this has to soak for about 20 minutes to two hours, I'm gonna go ahead and add the boiling water to this now. This is one cup of walnuts and I'm gonna put about two cups of boiling water in here. Just seal that close. Try not to make it too tight because the hot water will seal it in too. So now we're going to go ahead and just drain these walnuts. Just let that all get out. We don't need any of that liquid. Now you can see they're a little bit lighter than they were before. Let's off the food process. So you can also use a blender. If you don't have a food processor, you can also use a blender and just do use your pulse setting. So you just don't want it to get too grainy. We're just looking for a nice texture. We'll be right back. You're watching The Veganish Kitchen on Taste on TV. Thank you. 
I've also used carrots in here, and I've also used cauliflower. So you still want to have it, um, you know, like by size pieces, or if you have um, rated up the, the carrots or the cauliflower. And then I'm going to add some soy sauce to this. That gives it the medium flavor as well as the Worcestershire sauce. Did I say that right? <laughs> really knows how to say it. I mean, what's your char 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 sauce? <laughs> yeah, that's that meaty flavor right there. Of course, they have a vegan version of it. So, use that. All right, guys, it's time for dinner. So we got taco night tonight. I made walnut meat tacos and I made some yellow fried rice. And we got apple empanadas. Jaylene, you wanna try the rice? You guys know what I love about taco night is that you can fix them however you want. I got tortillas down there and the walnut meat here and toppings, but I also have some already made up. You gonna try one that's already made up, Julia? Okay. Mommy, how do you like the taco? Let me taste it first. Mm. It's good. <laughs> just cleaned up from dinner and I am taking a quick little stroll to get some much needed mommy time. Dinner was absolutely amazing. We had those flavorful nutrient dense walnut meat tacos with the kicked up flour tortillas. We had yellow fried rice which was so perfect and full of veggies also. And then we had those apple pie empanadas which was so delicious. So I want to see you guys next time on The Veganish Kitchen, only on Taste on TV. Want to stay up to date with all the veganish? Weren't able to catch the last episode on Taste on TV? Follow at the underscore Veganish Kitchen on Instagram to stay up to date with us. Catch sneak peeks of upcoming shows and even get a surprise or two. Head to Instagram now so you can follow along with the Veganish journey. It's easy to share all of your favorite Veganish videos if you've liked our Facebook page. Type in The Veganish Kitchen into your search bar and make sure to give us a like. You can click the highlight button on the top right corner of the video page to get notified of new posts and videos. 
Thanks for watching The Veganish Kitchen on Taste on TV. We hope you enjoyed the show.